The first thing I realized about the NVIDIA Star Wars Titan graphics cards is that they paired the Jedi Order with the Galactic Empire, which is just... You know what though? It's fine. I mean, full points for effort at least. And honestly, I barely even care anyway. Hey, thank you all for joining me. Um, I understand that NVIDIA probably had the best of intentions, but, but there's one fundamental problem here, and that is that Senator Palpatine, Darth Sidious, whatever the f you want to call this asshole, these two entities never actually oppose each other directly. Which led me to my second realization. We had to make a video that showcased these bad boys. So this, my friends, is the Mystic Space Warrior Knowledge Cube build. The 20 liter Moss Pack features a built-in charging station, cable management pass-throughs, and it's been recently updated to include a few little improvements like better straps and a larger laptop pocket. Check it out at the link below. Now with a warehouse full of computer cases, you would think that after spending hours searching, we could find something with the sheer moxie and space age energy that we were looking for. But alas, it was for naught. So we set out to do something that we've surprisingly never done before here at LTT. Design and build our very own case from the ground up. So setting out to design this thing, we only had a few rough guidelines in place. We wanted it to look really cool. And Alex has been itching to play with our new Fabul Laser CO2 laser cutter from Smart DIY. So our design team immediately came up with some wild and crazy ideas for complex polyhedrons and ornate acrylic paneling that would fit our overall theme. After all, when it comes to imagination, the sky is the limit, right? No, actually the limit is something called international copyright law, which is why our decorative inscriptions are in Klingon, not Arabesh. So after much internal debate and many failed attempts, here's how our final design ended up coming together. Or at least we wish it was that easy. We constructed our case from the bottom up, which meant putting together a wooden frame. Now, Wood isn't exactly a first choice material when it comes to computer cases, but we aren't quite ready to try our hands at fabricating a metal frame yet. So we attached wooden pillars to a small sheet of MDF, then we made holes for inserts for motherboard standoffs and a much larger hole for the GPU. Next, we needed a starter hole for the GPU IO, then to get a nice clean cut, we picked up a brand new handsaw that totally ended up sucking. So the hole looks super ragged, but since it's on the bottom of the case, no one will ever see it, provided of course that there was nobody standing around with a camera filming the whole thing. The motherboard standoffs went in a lot more smoothly and we elevated them on these big screws so we would have somewhere to tuck our cables. After putting on the motherboard, an ROG Strix Z370i Mini ITX board, we added our CPU, an Intel Core i7-8700K 6-core processor, pretty much the best of the best for gaming right now, and 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Then for cooling, our first choice was a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 tower cooler. But unfortunately, even with low profile RAM, we were unable to successfully mount the tower. So it looks like it's Noctua to the rescue. Now the centerpiece of this build is our Star Wars Titan XP graphics card. So we opted to give it a full frontal mount, which is not nearly as dirty as it sounds. It just means that we used a PCI Express extension to mount it in a vertical position, front and center, right here. Now, let's see how it might look with some paneling. Well, sh Luckily, a hasty modification can rectify that problem. Now we're not gonna leave the frame showing exposed wood, so we also need to give the whole thing a quick coat of paint. Then, once we've got all the hardware loaded into our Mark II frame, we can get to the most important part of any kick-ass case build, adding the RGB. With all the strips in place, it's time to close it up, 
But first, let's get a nice good look at just how awesome that setup is looking. As mentioned earlier, we used our Fabool laser cutter to create our non-infringing designs, and aside from a few minor hiccups, that process was relatively painless. So, after another finishing touch and some decorative molding around the outside, yeah, now we're looking good. Once it was built though, we had to put it through the paces. I mean, you have a good idea based on the hardware you put in of how something like this is gonna perform, but what's the point of owning a rowboat if you never ride it? Does one ride a rowboat? It's not really the point. Anyway, the thermals aren't quite as good as we might expect from an NHD 15, so it is a little toasty in there, but our Core i7-8700K still managed to turbo to four gigahertz on all six cores with temps in the mid 70s. And gaming wise, this thing is a beast, churning through even the latest AAA titles as you would expect a Titan XP to do. And remember, this is all in a case that was really not made with thermals in mind. So in the end, we love the results, but we feel like in the future, we've still got a lot of work to do for, as the Klingon proverb teaches, lo da la la da la ba he la 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 ve he la pa. TunnelBear is the simple VPN app that makes it easy to browse privately and enjoy a more open internet. With TunnelBear turned on, your connection is secured and your online activity is kept private from your internet provider, from advertisers, and from anyone who's looking to track your online movements or profit from your data. TunnelBear has a top-rated privacy policy and does not log your activity. So try TunnelBear for free with no credit card required at tunnelbear.com LTT. We'll have that linked below. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed. I can feel myself flushing. Uh, get subscribed, check out where to buy the stuff we featured, including the Core i7-8700K at the link in the video description. And while you're down there, you can check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum.